Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm doing a custom paint job on the AMT 1949 Ford. You'll see some of the masking process, the paints I used, and you'll see how it all turned out in the end. So stay tuned. Where I'm picking up in the video, I've already got all my body work done. And I cover all that in the complete build video. So if you haven't seen that, here's the link. My next step is primer and then sealer. The sealer I'm using is the Autoborn sealer by Createx and it's sealer silver number 6013. And if you haven't used this before, pretty cool. It's more like a real micro flake. On the Createx website, it says that you can spray the sealer with no 40, 50, or 40, 30 mixed in, just reducer. But with the amount of masking I'm going to be doing, I found it was not strong enough. So I came back after I had sprayed the sealer with two heavy coats of the 4050 as an inner coat clear to lock everything down. And then I left it sit for 48 hours to fully cure. And then I started masking. The way I did these thicker stripes, I cut the tape down to two millimeters wide and to keep the stripes evenly spaced, I put a piece of tape down right next to the last piece of tape as a quick gauge and then removed it after the next piece of tape was in place. And now I'm ready for paint. The first color I'll be spraying is Createx Transparent Light Brown. As you can see on the sun visor and the trunk lid, I did not completely paint it solid as I want these stripes to fade in and out. All right, ready to unmask my first round of painting. I apologize for the fat look of these next couple of pictures, but my camera was on the wrong setting. The next color I am spraying is Createx Candy 2O Tequila Yellow. For the next color I'll be spraying, I'm mixing the Candy 2O Tequila Yellow with just a dab of the Candy 2O Blood Red for a burnt orange color. I faded into the burnt orange around the edges and then did some shadowing with the Createx Transparent Black. After unmasking, this is what it looks like. Next, I sprayed my hood in the same process, minus the stripes. And then I got ready to start spraying the sides. 
First I did a coat of the tequila yellow. Then on the top and the bottom, I did a couple different passes with the burnt orange. And down the center, I used the regular transparent light brown. And I mixed the transparent light brown with the transparent black for the dark brown strip that runs from the hood ornament all the way back to the taillights to tie everything together. And I finished the rest of the body with the candy tequila yellow. Next, I finished all of my unmasking. and I remasked the brown strip to do my shadowing. After that, I did my first round of clear coat, and here's how it looks. With this much paint work, I knew there was no way I was getting by with one round to clear. So after I shot my first round, I completely wet sanded everything down and re-cleared. And here is the end result. If you haven't seen the video yet and you'd be interested in seeing how I did the C notch in the frame or the four link suspension or the sun visor shaped out of a piece of plastic, I'll leave the link to the complete custom build at the end of this video. If you haven't seen the video on how I did the custom tuck and roll interior for this, I'll also leave a link for that at the end of this video. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. As always, thank you for watching, and I have some really cool projects coming up, so stay tuned. Until next time. <laughs>